So I've come back to this board setup as I was playing with last time where I'd just got it to deliver a CSS file that was separate, um, but really it was a botched CSS file. So uh, I'm not going to spend long on the hardware today. In fact, I'm not going to talk about the hardware at all. So let's go to the screen. So this is where we left it. We'd got this web server. So if I just start this, it connects to the network again and hopefully this is the CSS um, string that I created that served as a file back to the web server. But if you remember in the other video, a web server that I'm used to would have a set of files on a file store of the web server. And then when you typed that file onto the URL of it, it would serve that file. So I want to see if I can get that sort of thing working with this demo code. Uh, let me save that. Well, let's stop it. And I'll just save as async web server CSS file for this new experiment. First of all, you might notice I've got another file here called style file CSS. So that is the content of this string, apart from I've changed the background color to coral now. So I've just swapped those colors around. So we can see whether it's serving this file, the actual file, or it's not doing anything at all. But I want to set up another string which I'm going to call web docs and in there I'm going to have a string called web root and that's actually where I've saved this so if I quickly look at the files on the pico you see I've now created a little directory on there called web root and in there is this style file so I thought all of the files that I want to save they're just going to be css files at the moment but all of the ones that I want to save I'm going to put in there so that the web code here is different from the web files so that's that file so this is the file i want to serve of course to do that i need to request the file here so i'm going to call it style file when we run this now it shouldn't be able to find something called style file well i need to run it yeah so it can't find the file so it's just doing white all right so now i've got to look for something if we run this you see down the bottom this request is coming as stylefile.css so i'm going to grab that request string because that's useful and let's go down to the bit where i act on the css so this was the file i did before uh, and basically i want to read in this css string from the file but i've got to work out what the file is first that it's asking so this request there i'm just going to put it there so we know what's coming in from the web browser and now i'm going to do something different because i want this bit here to trigger whenever there is dot css in there so any css file that's re that's requested at all i want it to set a value in here so let's say now in that request i'm just looking for dot css now the interesting thing about this led on and led off is that it was always found at this position six but of course because the dot css is at the end of a line and we don't know what the file is going to be now it can't be six so i'm going to change that to say it's bigger than zero okay so the default if you can't find anything is minus one that that we use there so i'm now i'm saying if that value of something found is bigger than zero so that will mean it's found something so i don't know whether this is going to work now but if i stop it and run it yeah if it doesn't error hopefully that will still work right now it's still picked up the css file but that's the wrong css file because it's now just using that string so we've got to load in the string next so i think what i'm going to do i will use file handling on my timer program so i'll just go and get it from that it was just this little bit here so let's grab that so we know how to handle a file and well it's going to be here anyway so let's paste that in there now i don't need that previous because we're not doing timer but i do need to close the file so now let's say the request let's change this to the file contents in fact i can just do response yes i can just do response so let's say if that's the case then response equals f read so whatever that file is it will put that in there so i can get rid of that bit now all right so that should load a file but the file at the moment it's looking for is called timer file so i'm going to use that web root that i used earlier so web root 
plus and then the file name now at the moment i know it's going to be this so let's just pop that in there as well and hopefully now when this gets hit it will load this file which if you remember has got a coral background from the file system so if there's no mistakes hopefully that will work and let's send a request through bump okay so i've uh messed something up web root isn't isn't defined right what did i do up here oh i called it web docs okay so it's web docs so whatever the folder i'm going to store stuff in is going to be stored in there so let's try that again and refresh it all right so that has now picked up that style file excellent but what we want is it not to read that specific file we want it to read whatever file is sent say request requested file so i'll say that is the request which was this which actually it gets the path from the url so i've got that request there um, if I do that, it will just look for a file that's something like that. So I want to chop this. So the start of the file, the start of where this always occurs is six. So let's say request equals six. So that's the index six. And then I want to take that to the value in that. So that will be the start of that CSS there. So let's just call that CSS. But I also want it to be include the dot css so i think i need to add four onto that maybe it might be three let's see what happens then so stop that run it any errors not at the moment hit refresh oh right okay so it's it's worked straight oh no it hasn't sorry we've not done it it has worked because i've not done that requested file so i'm just to make sure let's move this requested to under here and then check what I'm actually requesting. So requested file. And then I'll, so that's printing whatever we found there, whatever that bit we've chopped off there will be printed out after CSS requested now. So let's stop and start, refresh. Whoops. Okay, 115, I've missed something. Oh, plus. Okay, stop, try again. That's working now. So I'll refresh that all right so now it's that bit's worked and request css requested is slash style file css so that's got what i want so finally then let's pop this requested file the contents of that into this bit here lovely so stop that so now we're not in any way giving this that css that style file uh, but if i start it again hopefully it will load that file off the file store so we can test that so let's say let's be very garish let's say green so set the background color to green and save that stop the web server first save that then go back and try and start it again and if i refresh it now it's changed to green so that's it so we've managed let's go back to here now so we've managed to serve a file off the file system if we wanted to do a second css file we could in fact if we change this so file save as and i'll call this style file 2.css so we've got a second file so the second file let's say the h1 is red so the title there will be read on that and let's get rid of that bit so all this file contains is that one let's go back and open the other one and i'll put the get rid of that background they are cascading but just to show it so that one contains the background of green and the second one contains setting this as red so i'll make sure both of those are saved save save then go back to this and back up here i need to add something extra to what it does so if we just run it to start with the first time we run it and refresh that it's gone to uh, green which i think is just what we yeah we've just stored that as green in there but we've not changed this color so if 
I stop that and add another link to another style sheet. So this is one of a different name. So we called it style file two, didn't we? So save that and run that. I'm hoping this will make this red now. Yeah, terrible. I know terrible uh, glaring colors, but that's done that. So that's now serving files that are on the file system. So there's no difference really in changing this so that it works with the .htm or .html files. You could do the same thing, but then you'd have to do something else where you have the end that doesn't the, the end of the URL doesn't actually request a file. It just requests a directory. You might have to write something else for that. But that's modified this web server then so that it now can serve files off its own off the PicoW's own internal file system. Hope you enjoyed this one. Bye.